Okay, this is what the Word of God said. As we read from Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29, and our topic today is seeking and finding the Lord. Seeking and finding the Lord. Sabi po rito, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find Him, if thou seek Him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. This verse is taken out of a passage where Moses is addressing the Israelites. Naalala po ninyo ang eksena, papasok na po ng promised land ang children of Israel but they have to cross the Jordan River, River first and the leadership was already transferred to Joshua. Pero bago po sila tuluyang lumisan, si Moses po ay uh, nagbibigay ng kanyang final instruction at parang farewell na rin. Dahil sinasabi niya sa kanila, hindi, hindi ako makakasama dahil sa pangyayari nga doon sa hindi po niya kinausap lang yung bato kundi hinampas niya at sinabi niya na para bagang sa kanya nagmumula yung tubig. And because of that, God forbid him to enter the promised land. And so this was the last time na maririnig po siya ng children of Israel. So... This is one of the farewell speeches ni Moses. At ayon sa kanya, in addressing the second generation of Israelites, ito na po yung pumalit doon sa mga nakasama niya na lumabas sa Egypt. At uh, ngayon po, siya po ay, uh, siya po ay uh, nagpapaalam sa kanila. Because the original generation that came out of Egypt died all in the wilderness after 40 years of wandering because they refused to do God's will for their lives. Alam nyo, delikado po mga kapatid. Kapag ka tayo ay ayaw na gumanap sa kalooban ng Diyos, tagilid po tayo niyan because the safest place to be is in the center of God's will. So, yung unang generation na lumabas sa Israel was unable to enter the promised land because of their unbelief and wasted their life for 40 years of wandering in the wilderness and died there. So, their children would inherit the legacy intended for them. This next generation was sold out to God. Unlike the first generation, ito pong second generation na ito, I sold out to God. But Moses still gave the warning that if they break the promises they made to God, if they forge idols and turn away from God, that they would not live in the land for very long but would be scattered to the wind. Yan ang sabi sa kanila ni Moses. Kapag hindi po sila na buhay para sa Panginoon doon sa promised land hindi po magtatagal at sila din ay mapapariwara at mapapahama pero ang sabi ng Panginoon sa kanila kahit na mangyari yun even if they will be scattered and without a country to call home if they will turn back to God and search for Him He promised that they could find Him Napakabuti po ng ating Diyos. Hindi pa man nangyayari, sinasabi niya na na magpatuloy sila sa kanilang pamumuhay sa Panginoon sapagkat kung hindi, sila ay mapapahama. Pero kung sa kanilang pagtalikod sa Panginoon at masumpungan nila ang pagsisisi at sila ay magbalik loob sa Panginoon, ang pangako ng Diyos sa kanila, they will seek Him and find Him. Alam nyo naman kung ano nangyari sa children of Israel, if you know the history of this nation. Talagang sila po ay ganito ang takbo ng kanilang pamumuhay. Hahanap sila sa Panginoon, tatalikod sila, magbabalik loob sila, masusumpungan nila ang Diyos, tapos tatalikod na naman, tapos ang Diyos magbibigay habag na naman sa kanila, tapos 
magbabalik loob sila sa Panginoon, tapos kakalingain uli sila ng Panginoong Diyos, tapos tatalikod na naman sila. History repeats itself. Pero ang isang bagay dito na makikita natin kung paano consistent ang children of Israel sa backsliding nila at sa turning away nila from God. Consistent din at napaka-faithful ng Diyos na sa tuwing sila ay magbabalik loob sa Diyos at hahanapin nila ang Diyos, they will seek Him and they will find Him. At ito po ang isang blessing sa lahat sa ating mga tao Anytime that we will come to God, anytime that we will come back to God, magbabalik loob tayo sa Diyos, hahanapin natin ang Diyos. Sabi po ng Bible, masusumpungan po natin siya. This is not just the first time that this message rang out from the Word of God. Ito po ay sinabi din ng Panginoon, paulit-ulit sa mga prophets, At ang pabulito ko propeta ay si Jeremiah, the weeping prophet. Siya rin po yung nagsabi na, uh, You shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Ang ating Panginoong Jesus, ito rin ang paalaala niya sa mga tao. Sabi niya, seek and you shall find. So, ang just po natin, bagamat iniisip ka dalasa ng iba ay napakalayo kung siya man ay totoo napakalayo niya wala siyang pakialam sa atin hindi natin siya masumpungan that is not true sapagkat ang sabi po ng Bible seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near every person hanggat may hininga siya sa kanyang uh, pagkatao hanggang meron siyang buhay meron siyang chance meron siyang pagkakataon, opportunity to seek the Lord and find the Lord if He only, only would come to God with all His heart. You see, seeking God is not so popular with the world. But among Christians, we know what it means to seek God. But what does it actually mean? Ano ba talaga ang ibig sabihin ng Hanapin ang Diyos. Si David po, sabi niya sa Psalms, When thou saidest, seek ye my face, thy face, O Lord, will I seek. So, what does it mean to seek with all your heart and soul? Sa Amplified Version po, it actually says, to seek with all your heart and mind and soul and life. Think about that. That's huge. If you're seeking with all those things, That means seeking God is seeking Him in your entire life. Have you ever looked for something like that? Most of the time, when we seek something, it's like we're looking for our important stuff like keys. Yan ang mga madalas na wawala sa atin. Sa akin yung aking salamin. Sa iba yung susi ng kotse o yung susi ng bahay. Sa iba yung wallet. di makita, o sa iba yung uh, relo, o yung sing-sing. Pero araw-araw, meron tayong hinahanap sa ating buhay na parang nawawala sa atin. Alam nyo, uh, minsan, nangyayari pa nga sa atin ito, no? Sa akin, nangyayari ito. Na, pag ako ay merong iniinuman na cup, especially doon sa amin, pagka nagkakaroon kami ng uh, on-site uh, mentoring, doon sa South Metro Campus namin. Ang iniinuman namin doon yung yung disposable cups eh. Oho. At minsan, ayoko nung papalit-palit ng cups. So, yung inuman ko ng cups, gusto ko yun din yung iinuman ko. At minsan, ay nilalagyan ko ng palatandaan. No? Minsan, nilalagyan ko ng initial ko, JM. Pero no matter how careful I was, I kept misplacing it. And I look for it But in the end, I just gave up and got another one. But that's like, to most people, paano nilang hinahanap ang Diyos? Sa aking pakiwari. But uh, the question I would like us to ask ourselves is when we seek God, do we seek Him sincerely with all our hearts? with all our entire life or we seek God only for a day 
Kasi minsan ganyan eh. We give up easily. We get tired easily. And we stop searching. Pag may hinahanap tayo, di natin makita, tama na, huwag na. Lalo na kung hindi natin iniisip na kailangan-kailangan natin. Nasabihin na lang natin, huwag mo nang hanapin. Lalabas din yan pag hindi hinahanap. Pero kapag ka alam mong kailangan-kailangan mo, hindi ka titigil hanggit di mo nahanap. That is why we should learn to seek God with our entire life. Not just for a day or two. Not just when we have inconvenience. Not just when we have situations that we think we need God for. Not just when we are low. Not just when we are in a condition that is difficult or there are adversities in our life. We should seek God through thick and thin, through darkness and brightness. Every day, whatever the condition of our life could be. Kaya nga minsan hinahayaan ng Diyos na lagi na lang madilim sa ating buhay, lagi na lang may mga bagyo sa ating buhay, lagi na lang may mga pangailangan sa ating buhay, may mga karamdaman tayo o may mga pagsubok tayo kasi sa mga ganyang pagkakataon, hinahanap natin ng Diyos eh. Hindi ba pwedeng kahit na hindi problemado ka, hanapin mo ang Diyos? Hindi ba pwede na kahit na maganda ang takbo ng buhay mo, hanapin mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo? Hindi ba pwede kahit na maayos ang lahat, hanapin mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo? Minsan kasi iniisip natin, nanghihinawa na tayo eh. Minsan iniisip natin, wala namang malasakit ang Diyos sa akin. He's not listening. He's not answering my prayer. When I call, He's not there. At minsan iniisip natin at tinatanggap na natin yung kasinungalingan ng Diablo na yan. You see, when you have this kind of thought, that maybe he is not there that maybe he is not he doesn't care that maybe god is not close to me and he is not concerned to me that's a lie from the devil ang pangako po ng diyos sa ating binasang talata and you shall seek me and find me because he is always there he is always there all the time eh ayaw po tayong uh, magkaroon ng uh, panghihinawa o pagsasawa at wag po nating sukuan ang ating mga sitwasyon sa buhay just because we think maybe God doesn't care mga minamahal here's the thing those of us who seek God need to realize the possibility that we may not have lost Him to begin with listen to me carefully those of us who seek God may need to realize the possibility that we may not have lost him to begin with. Moses was warning the Israelites that if they turned away from God, if they worship idols and were cast out of the promised land, they could find God if they searched for him. But in that situation, the Israelites would have lost him. They have dropped him, given up on him turned away from Him. So, of course, they would need to search for Him again if they wanted Him back. Pero alam nyo sa ating mga Kristiyano, the difference is, hindi na natin pwedeng mawala ang Diyos. We haven't lost God if we are already a believer of Jesus Christ. He's always right here, right here inside us. He's been here all the time. From the moment you trusted Christ, God take residence in you. Yan po ang pinangako ng Panginoong Jesus. That we, sabi niya, that uh, He Himself and the Father and the Spirit of God will make His, their residence in us. They will abide in us. Kaya nga sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, di ba? Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except you abide in me. So, when you think, you feel, or it seems like God wasn't there, and that you have lost God, the truth of the matter is, it's not God that you have lost, but it's you 
whom God has lost. Ikaw yung nawala. Ikaw yung lumayo. Ikaw yung naliligaw. Ikaw yung hindi masumpungan sa piling ng Diyos. Kaya, please, don't misunderstand. I'm not, I'm not saying that you don't need to seek for Him. What I'm saying is that so many times Christians waste the limited time we have looking for something we already got. Isn't that true? You are wasting your time looking for something that you already got. Oh, sino sa inyo yung mga nakasalaming katulad ko na minsan hanap ng hanap ng salamin, halos mainit na ang ulo, hindi makita ang salamin. Halos lahat ng tao sa bahay napagalita na, hindi makita ang salamin. Yung pala, nasan yung salamin? Eto, nasa ulo. Nangyari na ba yan sa inyo? At minsan, sasabi sa akin ng daughter ko, eh, dad, yan na, oh, nasa ulo mo. Tama ba? Oh. Minsan, hanap ka ng hanap ng susi. Ikot na ang puwet mo, saka hanap ng susi. Yung pala, yung susi, ay nakasabit na sa yung sintoreras. Hindi mo pa makita. Sabi nila, nag-ulyanin na. Hindi na maalala. But it happens. At minsan, ganyan tayo sa Diyos. Akala natin, hindi natin maramdaman ng Diyos. Hindi natin uh, masabi na parang ang Diyos ay nasa tabi lang natin. At hanap tayo ng, Panginoon, nasan ka ba? Bakit mo ko pinabayaan? Bakit ganito ang sitwasyon ko sa buhay? Nasan ka ba, Panginoon? At ang Diyos, napapakamot lang siguro ng ulo at sinasabi sa atin, Anak, andito lang ako. Hindi ako nawawala. Ikaw yung lumalayo. Ikaw yung lumalamig. Ikaw yung hindi makaramdam sa akin kasi nangapal na ang kalyo sa puso mo dahil sa mga bagay ng sanglibutan na isinasaksak mo sa buhay mo. You see, We lost the sensitivity, the touch, that feeling. Sabi nga nung uh, paboritong awitin ni uh, Eddie Mesa, You've lost that love and feeling. Oh, that love and feeling. You've lost that love and feeling. And it's gone, gone, gone. Oh, you've lost it. <laughs> you know that song? Ayoko kantahin eh. Baka sabihin nyo, kaboses ko pala si Eddie Mesa. Nax. <laughs> Pero kadalasan mga minamal, it's not the presence of God that we've lost. It's that love and feeling we have for God that are lost. Na wawala po yung sensi- sensitivity natin doon po sa presence ng Diyos. So mga minamahal, when you search for God, the first thing that you need to do is to search Him with all your heart. Is your heart right with God? Is your heart attuned with God? Kasi hanapin mo man ang Diyos kung ang puso mo ay nangangapal, ang puso mo ay manhid, ang puso mo ay wala ng damdamin sa Diyos. Paano mo masusumpungan ang ever so near presence of God? Mga minamahal, If you have that feeling of unawareness sa Diyos, just keep in mind, hindi niya po tayo iniiwanan. Hindi niya po tayo tinatalikuran. Those who are in Jesus Christ, by faith, ang pangako niya po sa atin, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Tandaan niyo po ang sabi sa Psalms 46. He is an ever-present God. Amen? God is our refuge, a very present help. Do you know what that means? Kasi some of us are present but not very present. Especially sa pagka umaaten tayo sa church. Present ka nga. O pagka ikaw ay umaaten ng mga webinar. O pagka ikaw ay umaaten ng mga uh, mentoring class. O ikaw ay nakaupo sa isang uh, meeting at uh, meron pinag-uusapan. Present ka nga. But you might be there and still, your mind is not there. You're not very present. Nariyan yung inaanto ka. Maybe this morning as you were listening to me, present ka nga. Nandyan ka nga online. Pero maaaring yung attention mo wala sa akin. So you are not very present. But listen to me. 
our God is not like that. He is not just present, but He is very present. His attention is always unto us. His mind is always focused on us. He is very present. Kaya po mga minamahal, hinding hindi po pwede nasasabihin natin. Hindi naman ako iniisip ng Diyos. That is a lie from the devil. You always have God thinking about you. That is how God is to everyone, to us. And so when you seek God, it should not be half-hearted attempt of trying to find Him. But rather, you should seek Him desperately as if without Him, you will not be able to breathe. Kung hahanapin po natin ang Diyos kamukha ng paghanap natin sa ating pinahalagan na anumang bagay, surely, definitely, you will find God. Crying out and pouring out to God is what we need to do. He won't turn anyone from us. He won't turn kahit na sa sino ka pa. Sabi nga po, He that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. That is why if you haven't trusted Jesus Christ yet as your Savior, if you are not sure you are going to heaven when you die, come to Jesus Christ. He will not cast you off. He will not turn you off. He will not put you away. Kung pupunta ka sa iyong relihiyon para sa iyong kaligtasan, mabibigo ka lang sapagkat religion cannot save you. Those religious leaders who are promising heaven to you, but not telling you the truth that Jesus Christ is the way, ililigaw ka lang. You come to Jesus Christ, you trust Him as your Savior, you put your whole life, your whole faith in Him for what He has done on the cross, and He is alive forevermore, for sure, ang kaligtasan, ang katiyakan sa langit ay mapapasayo. At kung ikaw ay tiyak na sa langit at alam mo si Jesus Christ, tagapagligtas mo, like the children of Israel, I invite you to cross the Jordan River of your life, to enter the promised land that God has given you. What is that promised land? The life of a victorious Christian. It will be a life of conquest. It will be a life that you will go to fight your enemies to become victorious. And our enemies, hindi yung kapitbahay, ha? our enemies, hindi yung kaibigan, ha? our enemies, hindi yung mga kamag-anak at kapatid mo. Ha? Our enemies are not flesh and blood. Ang sabi po ni Apostle Paul, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All the forces of evil are up against us para hindi po tayo magamit ng Diyos, para hindi po tayo makapaglingkod sa Diyos, para hindi po natin ma-experience ang buhay na malapit sa kamay ng Diyos. But the Apostle Paul is inviting each and every one of us, beseeching us to place ourselves near the hand of God. Sabi niya po sa Romans 12.1, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. That word present means place near the hand. Ilagay mo ang buhay mo malapit sa kamay ng Diyos. Sapagkat kadalasan mga minamahal, kaya parang ang Diyos ay wala, kaya parang ang Diyos ay hindi mo madama, sapagkat malayong malayo ka sa kanyang presensya. Kaya po, dapat po nating matandaan, seeking God is a process. And like any other process, it begins with the first step. And the first step is the most important. There are days when you will not really feel how close God is to you. You will feel like he's hidden himself so deep. And yet, he is really near. Tandaan po natin, mga minamahal, the first step of getting close to God is 
napaka-importanteng siyang ating unang matutunan. What is that? It's humbling yourself to God. Yes. Kasi kaya naman tayo, minsan parang hindi natin maramdaman ng Diyos sa buhay natin kasi we become so egotistic and we feel like we don't need God. And we feel like everything is going well. So, why would I need God for? So, you become self-sufficient. You become uh, self-made. You think you don't need God because you are in control of everything. You can handle it. But when it comes the time that you are losing grief of everything around you, that's only the time that you will feel you need God. And that's only the time you would like to seek God. But if you will seek God, kailangan matutunan mo magpakumbaba sa Kanya. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He giveth more grace to the humble, but He resisted the proud. Eh, yung iba kasi sa atin, lalapit sa Diyos, hahanapin ng Diyos ang bihira, sinisisi pa ang Diyos eh. Asan ka ba Diyos? Pinabayaan mo naman ako eh. Ano ba naman nangyayari sa buhay ko, Panginoong Diyos? Bakit pinahintulot mo tong ganito? Okay na, okay na ako eh. Bakit pinayaan mo akong ganito? Eh, tayo pa minsan yung mayabang, tayo pa minsan yung akala mo may utang na loob ang Diyos sa atin na tayo ay pangalagaan, samantalang hindi naman tayo consistent sa ating paglakad sa pananampalataya sa Kanya. So get rid of that pride. Get rid of that being self-centered. If we are to seek God, the first important step is to humble ourselves before God. Humility is the key. And then honesty. Honesty. Get real. Not only that you need humility if you will seek God, you need honesty. Get real with God. Kasi wala naman tayong naitatago sa Diyos. Lahat-lahat eh. sa buhay natin, sabi nga ni David, kahit saan ako pumunta, alam mo kung nasan ako naroon, Panginoong Diyos. Kaya get real with God. Anong sabi sa 1 John 1, 9? If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You want to find God in your life, get right with all those things that you need to get right with God. Be honest. Be honest. What's wrong? What's wrong? Di naman pwedeng ayos na ayos ang buhay mo tapos sasabihin mo ang Diyos ang nagpabaya sa'yo. Baka ikaw ang nagpabaya sa dapat ay responsibility mo sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Because each of us have a responsibility to God. For we must all appear before Him and give an account of ourselves to God. One day, soon, you have to prepare yourself to meet thy God. And in that meeting, it is not God who will be obliged to give account of His responsibility and accountability to you. But rather, it is us who will be obliged to give account of ourselves to God. Kasi may responsibility tayo sa Diyos. And our responsibility to God is very simple. To walk by faith. To please Him. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. But he that cometh to God must believe that He is, and that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. So, ang ibig sabihin po nung diligently seek Him, ang ibig sabihin po ng diligent masipag, ang ibig po sabihin ng diligent, consistent. Kasi kung ikaw ay masipag lang ngayon, tas bukas tamad ka na, hindi ka diligent. Pag sinabing diligent study, student ka, talagang araw-araw, nag-aaral ka. At maaasahan na kapag ikaw ay tinanong ng guru, may sagot ka. Kasi diligent student ka. So, if you are diligent in seeking God, Every day in our life, we will walk by faith. We will be honest to God. We will not be hiding anything from God. Don't hide anything from God. Naalala ko tuloy yung aking uh, 
ng aking ama no nung sila ay mga nung ang ama ko ay hindi pa man nanan para tayo talaga malakas mag-inom yan eh dinadala pa sa bahay namin yung mga kainuman niya yung mga katrabaho niya kaopisina niya doon sila nag happy happy kasi katwira ng nanay ko eh sa lumabas pa sila at kung saan sila mag-inom doon na lang sa bahay namin safe pa no di ba <laughs> so Minsan eh, inaabot sila ng konsensya. Sabi ng isang uh, katrabaho ng tatay ko, sabi, uh, Pete, nakatingin sa atin yung ano, ribulto. Na siyempre hindi ribulto ang tawag nila. No? Puon. Nakatingin, nakatingin sa atin yung puon. Meron kasi kaming, ano eh, Santo Nino sa bahay. Oo, sa may salas namin. So, minsan gagawin ng tatay ko. Siguro, lasing na. Ah, ganun ba? Walang problema yan. Gagawin niya, itatalikod niya yung Santo Nino. O, yan, hindi na niya tayo kita. <laughs> Minsan mga minamahal, may maling konsepto tayo patungkol sa Diyos. Akala natin, pwede nating pagtaguan ng Diyos. Akala natin, pwede nating ikubli sa Diyos yung ating mga ginagawa. But we cannot. Ang Diyos po natin ay omnipresent. He's everywhere. Ang Diyos po natin ay omniscient. He knows everything. We cannot hide anything from God. Not even the feeling of our infirmities. Not even the deepest, darkest secrets that we have. God knows all about it. And so you just have to be honest to God. Bakit ka napapalayo sa Diyos? What's wrong with you? Get honest with God. Humility, humble yourself before God. Honesty, get real with God. Tell Him all about it. He will understand. Sabi nga eh, walang hindi tayo ilalapit sa Diyos na ang Diyos magugulat at masusurprise. O talaga, hindi ko alam yan ha. Grabe. Kung di mo pa sinabi, hindi ko malalaman. No, no, no. Our God is not like that. He knows everything about us. So you have to be honest to God. Gusto mo na masampungan siya, sabi, seek Him with all your heart. It means, don't hide anything from God. Expose yourself in the light of God. Let everything be brought into His feet. So, kailangan po natin ng humility, kailangan po natin ng honesty. At higit sa lahat, mga minamahal, when we come to God, seek Him and to find Him, kailangan po natin ng tinatawag na talagang tayo po ay maging humble, kailangan po tayo ay maging honest, at kailangan po tayo ay maging happy. Yes. Sabi nga po, happiness is to know the Savior giving a life within His favor, having a friend. Ano nga sunod doon? Happiness is the Lord. <laughs> You have to be happy with God. If you will seek God and find Him, you have to be happy with God. Kailangan po, kaya mo hahanapin ang Diyos. Kasi na-realize mo, there's nothing the world can offer you that will satisfy your soul. And that you are coming to God because you realize your real happiness can only be found in the Lord. So, you will humble yourself before God, you will be honest to God, and you have to be happy with God. E kung hahanapin mo ang Diyos, tapos ikaw naman ay masama pa ang loob, at ikaw ay galit pa, at ikaw ay malungkot, kung baga eh, bakit gusto mo kong hanapin, tapos eh, nung magkasama na tayo, hindi ka naman masayang kasama ako. Diba? So you have to check yourself first. Why are you trying to find God in your life? Yung iba kaya nga hindi na hinahanap ang Diyos eh. Yung iba kaya nga parang nalilimutan na ang Diyos eh. Kasi they have already found their happiness sa mga temporalities of this world. Pero I assure you, one day you will find yourself miserable. One day, you will realize that what you think is bringing happiness to your life 
is not really bringing happiness, but sadness. Sabi nga po, they that will be rich, one day will pierce themselves with many sorrows because all they care about are the material possessions of this world. What? Huwag mong isipin na yan ang magiging kasiyahan mo. Sapagkat kung ang kasiyahan mo nasa mga material na bagay lamang sa buhay na ito, hindi ka magiging masaya. Sabi nga ni Apostle Paul, while we look not on the things which are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but that the things which are not seen, for the things which are not seen, are eternal. Doon mo i-focus ang buhay mo. Doon mo ihanda ang buhay mo. Doon mo pahalagahan ang buhay mo. Mas bigyan mo ng value, mas maging masaya ka sa mga bagay ng Diyos. Because when we are delighting in the Lord, when we are enjoying the things of God, that is when we will really find God sa ating buhay. Sabi po, delight thyself in the Lord. That means, be happy with God. Be satisfied with God. Find your sense of fulfillment with your relationship with God. And you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. So, get humble yourself. Get humble. Get honest. And get happy. At higit sa lahat mga minamahal, sabi nga po, seek God with all your heart. Our relationship with God is all about the innermost part of our being, the inner soul, the heart. Sabi nga po, the heart of the problem is the problem of the heart. Let your heart be right with God. Kailangan lagi, andun ang puso. Kailangan lagi, may puso tayo sa Diyos. Sabi pa nga eh, mabuti pa nga daw ang saging, may puso eh. Pero tayo mga tao, parang wala tayong kapuso-puso eh. Di ba minsan sinasabi natin, grabe ka naman sa akin, wala ka naman puso sa akin. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, yung, yung heart natin is not with that person. And so I ask you today, is your heart always with God? Do you have a heart for God? Kasi David was a man after God's own heart. Sabi po, whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord and not unto men. So hindi lamang po humility, hindi lamang po honesty, hindi lamang po you need to be happy with God. But kailangan po you have your heart right with God. And you shall seek Him and find Him when you shall search for Him with all your heart. Seeking and finding God is about humility. Seeking and finding God is about honesty. Seeking and finding God is about being happy with God. Seeing and finding God is about having your heart, your whole heart, attuned with God. This is Pastor Jess Marasigan at sana po na-bless po tayo sa salita ng Diyos. And if this had been a blessing to you, share it with others. Let others know Jesus is alive and He is in the business of saving souls and transforming lives. As life goes on, hope goes on, at sana po you will never give up. Whatever battles you are facing today, you can be victorious if you will put your trust in the Lord. Tayo po'y manalangin. Thank you.